Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to set up the Fabric Launcher and Fabric Mods for Minecraft. Firstly, to be able to get Fabric and Fabric Mods working, you'll need the Fabric Installer downloaded. To do so, you'll have to head to this page. As always, the link will be in the description. Simply click the box saying Download for Windows to download the installer if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac though, we recommend clicking on the .jar file instead. The setup for both is pretty much the same, so when it's finished downloading, double click the file to open up this small window. At the top, make sure to select the Minecraft version you'll want to download the Fabric Launcher for. Keep in mind that later, the mods you download will also have to be the same version or else the launcher won't load up or work correctly. We then recommend leaving the loader version as the latest so no problems occur. Skipping forward to the bottom, make sure that create profile is checked and then press install. Almost immediately, you'll see that fabric loader has been downloaded. However, the pop-up box says many mods also require you to put the fabric API file into the mods folder. This is crucial as most fabric mods will not work unless you have this file in your mods folder. To download the Fabric API file, you'll have to head to this page. The link to this will also be in the description. Click on the Files tab and then find the same version as the version that you downloaded your client for. Since I downloaded my Fabric Launcher for 1.18.2, I will also be downloading the Fabric API file for 1.18.2. But now we have to make sure the API file goes into the Minecraft Mods folder on your client. To do so, press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard to open up this window. Make sure that in the box it says percentage app data percentage and then click enter for this files explorer window to pop up. After open up the dot minecraft folder followed by the mods folder. Simply drag in the fabric api file we just downloaded into the folder and when that's done you can close this window. To make sure everything is working as intended so far, you then want to open up your Minecraft launcher. If you see the fabric loader in the bottom left, it means you have followed these previous steps correctly. Firstly, head to server.pro and into your service control panel. At the dashboard, make sure that the server type is set to vanilla and that the version is set to the same version as the fabric launcher and API you downloaded previously. The next step is to download the fabric server jar onto your server. You can do that by heading to this page. As always, the link will be in the description. When you're there, simply choose the Minecraft version you want the server jar to be. Make sure that this version is the same as the fabric API file you downloaded as well as the client. You can also configure the loader version and installer version, but I'll just be leaving it on the recommended versions. Then simply press the executable server button to instantly download the file. Once it's downloaded, make Make sure to head back to your server pro dashboard. Before continuing, make sure to turn off your server and then head into the files section. There you want to drag in the server jar and wait for it to finish uploading. Heading back to the dashboard tab, you'll see that there's an advanced settings tab below. Click on it and now all you have to do is open up the server jar drop down and select the server jar you just downloaded. Press save and turn on your server so the changes take effect. When the server is finished booting up, in the files section you'll see there's now a .fabric folder and a mods folder. If they're not there, it's because the server hasn't finished booting up so simply wait a couple seconds and refresh. To make sure no issues occur once again, open up the mods mods folder and drag in the fabric api file we downloaded earlier. When that's finished uploading, you can also drag in any of the fabric mod files you desire, as long as they're the same version as your client, api file and also your server. I'll quickly be showing you how to download a fabric mod so you can follow these steps accordingly. In this example, I'm using the Curse Forge website to browse through some Minecraft mods. When you find a mod you like the look of, press the file section and scroll down until you find the same version as all your previous files. Before doing anything, make sure that the file says fabric next to it and not forge. Then you can press the arrow to be redirected to this page. After a couple seconds, it'll automatically download the file for you. Now all you have to do is simply head back to server.pro and drag the file downloaded into the mods folder again. Once more, restart the server and now the mod is installed. We're not done yet though, you have to make sure the mod is downloaded on both your server and your client, so you'll need to press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. 
Make sure the pop-up box says percentage app data percentage once again and press enter. Once more, double click on your .minecraft folder, head into the mods folder and then drag the mod file into it. That's it, now your mod is installed on both your server and your client. To double check everything is working as intended, head to your dashboard and copy the host name. Then open up your Minecraft launcher. At the bottom left, make sure the fabric loader is selected again and press play. When Minecraft has loaded up, head to the multiplayer section and click add server. In the server address section, paste the host name and then press enter. All you have to do then is head into your server. If your items aren't there, you may have missed a step in the tutorial so feel free to go back and refollow them again. But if your items are there, then congrats! You have followed these steps correctly. Well that's it for this video, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching!